darn weeds. Uh, I guess I'll have to figure out how to look after these weeds uh, next year. Oh, hey, everybody. <laughs> Looney Farm Guy here. Welcome back to Uncle Tom's Farm. And uh, the corn is ready to harvest. We have uh, leased a uh, corn harvester header. Um, actually, we did a contract for corn. That's why I came up. And it's like, oh, okay, you know, that makes it kind of worth it. Uh, to lease a uh, corn header, we we will we'll have to get one eventually. But so we did a contract and uh, made some money, and we got a bit of corn left over. So that's cool. We're gonna save that, and then we'll have this corn. And um, the uh, the store, the shop, phoned us and said, "Hey, somebody traded in a." Uh, a nice little trailer that'll match your vehicle there, and it was been it's been restored and everything, and so we picked it up. So that's why the money is down a bit. But um, doing that contract, I went back and forth about half a dozen times at least, <laughs> trying to empty out. So we've just doubled our capacity, uh, and it's going to come in very handy for when it comes time to sell our crop. But what we're going to do here now. And uh, it was good. let's just uh, hop in here. We so we're we went from twenty thousand. Now we're up to forty thousand liters. That ought to do us for a bit. And it wasn't too much money, about twenty five thousand dollars. There is a corn header, um, for a uh, used corn header for sale too. But uh, that's going to wipe us out monetarily, and I don't want to do that quite yet. So and then to buy something that. Um, I'm going to have sitting around until next year. We're not going to have another corn crop. So I love how this, uh, this old girl starts. I don't know if you could hear that, but the whine of the turbo starts up and then, uh, <laughs> I've, uh, if you haven't noticed, I've modified, um, this uh, harvest her a little bit. She goes a bit faster than uh, what the. Uh, so, anyways, yeah, don't 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 mind that so much. Um, just how we get things done here on old Uncle Tom's farm. But um, we're going to be doing this for a bit. Oh yes, and I did manage to uh, get some uh, fertilizer on this field. Uh, well, most of it, anyways. This part here is not kind of uh, 68 out of 80, and the, the the soil, the soil is not all that great here. But here we go, 80, 87, 88 out of 100. That's not too bad for something I really didn't plant. So um, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Pretty much everything else. Oh, see, there's the nitrogen was, yeah, where the nitrogen was bad at some point here. I've I didn't. I ran out of. Uh, I ran out of uh, um, fertilizer, and then uh, so it was like, okay, well, it'll have to do. But um, I'm not sure what. Uh, well, we're going to. Uh, uh, we might put uh, a cover crop in here too, and uh, because you know it's just. Um, because we can and uh, we're just gonna go whole hog into that whole uh, cover crop thing and see if we can save ourselves some money on uh, fertilizer and uh, we're going to uh, we'll have to look at uh, getting a plow I guess we'll have to lease mm, see what this is gonna have to be plowed now that it's uh, corn if we look at our uh, little handy dandy map let's see here growth uh, so, oh we got yeah we got rocks too that's gonna have to be something that we're gonna have to deal with uh, let's turn that off for now uh, mulched we don't have anything to mulch uh, plowing uh, yes so we're gonna need to plow that at some point um, but I think we'll deal with the plowing in spring uh, we'll plant the uh, cover crop 
and then uh, in spring we'll plow it under. We'll try that. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna plant a cover crop and then plow it under. And we're already full here. Very nice. We're gonna have a good crop crop of corn here. Pretty pretty much. Uh, let's just run over to our truck there. And uh, being close to home here is not, I mean, the trailer is not going to be that much of an issue having the extra capacity. We're just going to dump it over into our silo. But um, uh, when it comes time to sell, which should be coming up pretty soon here, let's just check our prices. Uh, yeah, planting... It says we can plant wheat and barley. I'm not going to take that chance. Um, oil seed. Oh, we've 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 exceeded our uh, oil seed radish uh, window, so I guess we won't be doing that. Hmm. Should we experiment with wheat or barley? Hmm. That's a good question. Um, I wonder. Uh, we do have seed. Uh, should we take a chance um, planting barley? Well, perhaps we could uh, I don't know plant a strip perhaps maybe we should do that. We'll just plant a test strip and uh, see what happens because one strip, I don't want to plant the whole I don't want to plant the whole uh, field and have it fail on me badly so we're going to do an, a little bit of an experiment and we're going to plant a test strip or seed i guess you would say seed seed a couple of test strips and um see how it goes see if we are successful or not and that uh kind of it's kind of a bit of an odd thing for this uh, part of the country but that's what we're going to try so i'm going to can i'm going to finish this off and then we'll come back and uh, you can, we'll come back. You can we can, you can rejoin us uh, when we plant the test strip there, and just see uh, see uh, see that happening. And then we'll um, you know yeah we'll see what goes from there. All right, hey everybody. <laughs> so we've uh, finished the harvesting. We've uh, returned the corn header. How much corn did we end up with? Um, 62,000, now remember we had about uh, 10,000 liters uh, left over from our contract, and so we're still looking at January for our best price. Right now the corn prices are pretty low, we're not going to get much money, we really have to maximize every penny. Um, so yeah, we'll have to wait till January and hope for that $500 per thousand liters. Or five dollars per liter, actually, and what it kind of really works out to uh, price. But anyways, so on with the experiment. Got the old case out. Oh, case. It's Massey Ferguson. Sorry, my apologies. It's red. Um, let's turn that on and drop that down. And we're going to throw some. Uh, Is it not going to let me? Uh... Um. Oh, there it is. What's? Oh. Yeah, my uh, my fancy dancy draw bar is uh, causing issues here. There we go. Yeah. All right. So we're going to do a couple of strips of barley here and just, um, well, just let's put our nitrogen. Yeah, we're, we're, put, we're throwing some, we don't have a whole lot of um, fertilizer left. <laughs> uh, dry fertilizer anyways. So uh, we're going to do a couple of strips here. And uh, if it if it fails, well, we've used a little bit of seed, not much, and uh, the fertilizer will be good for um, 
it, it, it won't go to waste. It'll it'll be there. Oh, that's the problem with this. Uh, these wide tr tracks on this. Okay. Oh, why is it? Oh, okay. No, no, no. Let's go do that, and let's actually. Yeah. Right. Okay. Here we go. Last strip, and then um, yeah. So test, testing, testing. One, two, testing. <laughs> and then um, yeah, it's early in the day, but uh, we could probably. Well, I could probably spend a little time cutting a little bit of grass around the. Uh, it's it's it is November, but uh, the temperature seems to be. Uh, uh, that's a good question. Where is our um, weather? Oh, here's our weather. Uh, so, 20 degrees, which is a beautiful November day. Um, so, looks like we're getting some... Now, I, I'm a little suspect of this... Um, December 17 degrees, January 5 degrees Celsius. That is like not typical Saskatchewan weather. We're December minus 30 would be uh, Celsius would be more of a <laughs> January like the minus 30 range. Uh, definitely February is going to be not 11 Celsius. But Anyways, I'm not going to complain. I guess uh, I guess that's why it's letting us plant stuff out of the season. Now, I don't know who made up that um, temperature weather map, but that's that weather sounds more like, you know, the Midwest, uh, U.S., not Canada. Can there's, there's nowhere in Canada that it gets 17 degrees in uh, December, really, no. Uh, but anyways, uh, we're going to go with the flow. Let's say it's an exceptionally warm year. And um, 20 degrees in uh, November. I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not going to complain about... Just a little odd. Right, let's park this old puppy back in the garage. We're going to... Uh, Let's, uh, you know, uh, let's go over to the house. Let's do a little bit of uh, cleanup. I don't know if I did. Did I, did I tell you I bought these? Uh, there's a really cheap kind of a homemade-ish used set of, uh, it's a tether and a rake. Yeah, raw, yeah, don't, don't look at the Ross Lamash. It's uh, someone... Anyways, uh, yeah, really cheap uh, set of rake and um, tether that I that I'm using to make hay instead of just grass. So we'll maybe we'll cut the grass and I mean, we'll spend a little time doing that. Um, also, I have to go. Let's pretend we go down to uh, the uh, local hardware store, and um, we're going to get ourselves a water hose. There we go. And um, let's see, where's the... Oh, it's... Uh, let us uh, pretend that there is a hose that we connected to the well so that we can um, get over to the well here and hook up our hose. There we go. And give this, uh, give this old girl a wash. Get her, get her all cleaned up for the winter so we can put her away. We're not going to be using this until spring now. And we're going to keep our eye out um, in the used equipment uh, for a plow. Yeah, nothing right now. Um, either that or we'll put the word out at the, uh, the local cafe there where all the farmers hang out and also at the equipment store. Um, so that if anybody's, uh, got a plow, I don't want to buy a new one. It's not something we're going to be using, um, a lot. 
uh, especially with the direct drill seeding and planting but if we do corn um, then we're going to uh, we're going to need to plow uh, this is an old uh, Jatco I picked this thing up um, I don't know where they got it I don't anyways uh, it's a nice little sprayer I've been using it for I've used it for a couple of contracts and it's just nice a little little sprayer at, at the back it goes pretty fast so <laughs> that's kind of, I know I said uh, well it's one of those things um, yeah it's uh, I don't know if it's really something that's uh, particularly available in these parts but um, there is one. Uh, there is one out back of the old um, equipment dealer there, and uh, they fixed it up, and uh, so she works. Um, but that's about the only really kind of oddball stuff I really have. Uh, we'll park this puppy over here. Uh, let's get. We might do some. Uh, we might do some more mowing. So I'm gonna. It's not really all that dirty. Let's take a look at our truck here. Yeah, it could use a little bit of a wash. Um, this is looking nice, although I can't park it in the garage anymore with the trailer. I might just unhook the trailer, but we're looking to sell some grain once the prices uh, prices get up there. And, oh, uh, yeah, that cedar is really dirty. We're going to have to grab that thing. And the combine. I got to... How long is this hose? Hmm. <laughs> Does it reach this far? Oh, yes, look at that. It's a really, really long <laughs> water hose. Oh, yeah. Look away, look away. <laughs> so uh, we'll, we'll get this shinied up. At some point, I really do want to uh, get a nice, um, kind of like a machine shed or something that's, uh, that's going to hold... Um, I don't like these things being outside much, really. But uh, for now, it's a ball we got, and we can't. They don't all. They don't all fit into the uh, into the small garage and lean tos and stuff that we have. Uh, these guys don't look too uh, too messed up. Uh, yeah, a little bit dirty. We'll we'll give it a little rinse off here. There we go. Um, yeah, so without uh, being too dull on the old uh, content here, um, <laughs> um, that's, yeah, what, uh, maybe we'll, uh, yeah, I might do a little bit more bailing off, uh, you know, off in, uh, in uh, the, the evening here. And, um, yeah. Uh, if we uh, check the old uh, the old uh, local papers here, we got a uh, cultivator and a header trailer. But uh, yeah, this this big boy, that's not going to happen for a while. Uh, there's that corn header I was talking about, but we're not going to need anything like that for till next fall. So no sense in buying that and having that. It's not that good of a deal. And so we got that planted. What are we looking at here? Anyway, I didn't even look at the. Uh, what it's telling me here, 74 of 80. Well, that's actually, that's not too bad for a expected yield. Uh, 80, the the um, loamy sand is like the worst soil you can plant into. So we're not going to get a uh, fantastic uh, super duper mm, yields. Um, same with this grass field. So I might as well keep it grass. I'm, it's grass will be good and um yeah so we got to yeah so that's the uh, plan stan and we're just going to continue on we're going to keep an eye on any extra work around the area and um let's uh close that up there yeah and there you go um let's get our head the flashlight off so yeah, well, thanks for joining me. We'll see you. Uh, maybe you'll stop by again, and um, we'll see what happens through the uh, 
through the winter. We'll we'll probably catch up to you when it's time to sell, uh, start selling some of our uh, stored grain, and then maybe some, maybe some deals will pop up. I don't know what. What are we looking at for? Yes, a plow. We're gonna need a plow. Uh, we're gonna have to probably stock up on. Um, maybe some fertilizer. I don't know. We'll we'll see what happens. Uh, we're just kind of like um. Moving along here, uh, we and then we're going to have to decide what we're going to plant, right? What are we going to plant? Are we going to plant maybe uh, maybe some soybeans? Because it doesn't require fertilizer, so that could be a nice cash crop that's not going to cost us too much to put in. Anyways, uh, there you go. Uh, I'm Louie Farm Guy. Welcome and thank you for watching Uncle Tom's Farm here out in the middle of nowhere, Saskabush, Sask Saskatchewan. And uh, we're just uh, enjoying the beautiful November um, weather. Um, and so, thank you for watching as always. And remember, it's only a game. And so, till next episode, we'll see you then. Bye for now. <laughs>